Hey guys, what's up? As you can see, we're at the same angle, so we're still working on the uh, 3.0 Whipple. Almost there, I've got all my lines built. I figured while, I've, while I'm in the process, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make an AN line. Uh, these are dash 12, so I'm running all this for the cooling side of the blower, and we'll go ahead and dive right in, and I'll show you how to get it done. So this is gonna be a 90. Uh, I already put the straight on. As you can see, see it's got a good swivel. You wanna make sure you leave a little bit of space. You don't want to bottom out the two fittings. So as you can see, they're two separate pieces. Your hose will go here, and you screw that in to the other side of the hose, whatever you're connecting to. So the way you get started is you'll want to use a cutting wheel. How I did it is it's, it's, a, lot, it's a lot easier. If you use a cutting wheel, um, you can use pipe cutters. But my preference is the pipe cutters don't really cut all the way through and you'll end up using the, the circular wheel anyway, or the cutting wheel. So anyway, what you'll do is you'll push this on and spin it counterclockwise. Oh, so you see it's popping out there. So I don't know if I'll be able to use this. fitting on what you'll do is you want to make sure that you don't bottom out the hose inside of the, the fitting just leave a little bit of space uh, and then we'll go ahead and wrap this in blue tape put it in our vise and then we'll go ahead and lube this up and I also lube up the uh, the hose itself so that way when you push it in as you're tightening the hose won't spin because if the hose spins then this will get kinked and your hose will like it'll look it won't look right. It won't look like a straight hose. It'll have like a little kink in it and it doesn't look good. So I have commitment issues and I have not bolted my vice down because I haven't picked a good location for it. So it moves. So once you have it tightened down, you'll want to leave a little bit of a gap in between the two fittings as well. So that way you get good action on your swivel and there's also a little pin inside of that and and also in here and you don't want to put too much pressure by tightening these down and you bottom them out and then you'll put too much pressure on that pin that pin will break and then you'll have a leaking an line so as you can tell it's perfectly straight great sealing so now we just have to put it in and hope it works <laughs> 